Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video we will discuss the primacy of speech, priority of speech, importance of speech you can say and we will discuss that uh, spoken language is superior to written language. Mostly we believe that in, uh, while speaking a language we do not care much about uh, the accurate use of the words or the accuracy of grammar uh, and it is written form that is a standard form of any language but uh, here we will discuss that how speech or spoken language is uh, prior or having a priority over written language. Uh, let's start discussing uh, with the fact that there are many languages in the world that are available only in the spoken form the written literature is not available uh, many of the languages spoken in the world they do not have any written literature but we believe that in uh, most of the books we study we discuss and it is also certified by many linguists that the standard language is the written language then what about the languages thousands of languages that do not have any uh, written literature but they are languages they have their grammar they have their vocabulary they have their sentence structure although it is not written people they are speaking it they are communicating with each other now the problem uh, the question arises that uh, what would be the example of such language which is not available in written form there are many but uh, for the sake of example uh, you must have watched different videos of tribes living in forests like those who were still the humans living in the forests they use they kill the animals and eat them and then they use these uh, they do not have even clothes to wear they use the leaves of the trees so uh, in national geographic special and other channels you can watch many such uh, videos available there so those language the spoken language is a tribe that is living in a forest what kind of language they are they do not have any source of learning they have no connection with the this modern developed world they are living in the same stone age thousands of years ago as humans they used to live so they do not have any literature of their language or in any written form but still for thousands of year, years they are speaking and uh, uh, they have their language in the spoken form so it is not necessarily true that every language must be in a written form and then it will be standardized uh, it is the it is the spoken form that actually gives birth to the written form even if the written form is not available the language will be there until the last speaker is alive in the world but written form what happens in the written form when the language is, it is written it is preserved forever uh, and when it is not written it is only in spoken form when the speakers of that particular language die it means the end of the language the language also dies with the last speaker uh, writing is a new phenomenon definitely writing is a new phenomenon first the humans they started speaking languages after that when humans they understood that how to write uh, this writing capability uh, adopted by the humans mm, thousands of years ago then written form came and the language it used to be written in various forms otherwise all the languages they were available only on in spoken form so in simple words you can say in ori originally or in the beginning not originally but in the beginning uh, languages they were only spoken so with the passage of time it for, for example let's talk about 10000 years ago for example we we say that at 10000 years ago there was no language in written form but different communities living in the world they were speaking different languages so after 1000 2000 3000 years uh, the humans they got the capacity or get an understanding that the language they should be written then they started writing the language spoken by the speakers so where the rules of that written language came where the sentence structure the grammatical rules came they came from the spoken language 
दे वर नॉट डिवेल्प और दे वर नॉट एक्चुअली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय द ह्यूमन बींग्स बाय देर ओन दे वर एक्चुअली टेकन बाय द स्पोकन फॉर्म सो ओरिजिनली इन द बिगनिंग इन दैन द लैंग्वेज स्टार्टेड द ह्यूमन्स दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग लैंग्वेज इट वॉज इन द स्पोकन फॉर्म इट इज बिलीव दैट अबाउट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो द ह्यूमन्स दे स्टार्टड कम्युनिकेटिंग विद ईच अदर थ्रू साइन लैंग्वेज थ्रू साउंड थ्रू वर्ड सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो द ह्यूमन्स दे स्टार्टड स्पीकिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज ओनली बिलीव देर इज नथिंग लाइक एनी वी डू नॉट रीड इट इन एनी बुक दैट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो अ बुक वॉज रिटर्न एंड दैट इज अवेलेबल टू अस सो इट इज बिलीव्ड uh and writing as i already told you it is dependent on the spoken form writing came after uh, many many years uh, uh, uh this communication of 20000 years ago again the rules uh, in written language are derived from spoken although we believe that while speaking a language we do not care about the sentence structure grammatical structure the use of the appropriate words as we use in the written form why in the written form the language is more purified or more standardized or having more grammatical accurate rules or accurate wording because in the written form if 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 i am writing something i have i have a choice to revisit or to revise my writing if i have written one page i can revise it 100 times and i can amend it i can change it Uh, i can apply different rules into it but but when once we are speaking whatever is spoken that is gone we do not have time to rectify the structure of the sentence and everything so the written form language uh, the rules of the written form they actually come from the spoken so this is the spoken language uh, that uh, the rules they are derived from the spoken language that we study in written form Uh, whatever the issues uh, or the problems they come in the written form they are resolved in the spoken form for example if there is any grammatical structure an urdu grammatical structure which is which is written incorrect or a word which is used incorrectly by the author in any novel or drama or poetry or urdu poetry so how will it be rectified who will tell us that what is the what is the accurate word or what is the accurate sentence that is again the writer will have to go back to the speakers of that language those who those whose mother tongue is urdu language then they will get that what type of the correct structure the the people the speaking community is speaking that the rule will be applied for the words and for the sentences so in any written form nothing can be devised but the writers but the and the authors they have to uh, everyone will have to consult to the spoken form for any accuracy if it is required then uh written uh usage is usually the norm of a previous stage of the language that we uh, we discussed earlier that writing is a uh, not not the primary or the primacy of the language because primacy is speech so language uh, written written form is the second form first form of a language is spoken form then uh, in in 20th century it was uh, as i discussed earlier that we believe that written language is the standard form and uh, in tw- before that it was believed that it is written language that is important but in 20th century the the linguists they preferred spoken over writing they believe that after i mean in 20th century different historians different linguists though t- those who had had discussed in their works about uh, the origin of language and how the language is preserved how the language is written and how the language is spoken so it was believed in 20th century that spoken is prior or important or having superiority over writing but before that it was believed that written form is the standard form but now it is uh, believed by many that spoken is superior to written form uh, 
then more importantly when a child acquires a language from the home the mo- the most authentic point about the primacy or superiority of spoken language is that when the child starts la- uh, acquiring a language in the home the child acquires language in spoken form not in written form the parents i mean uh, to a newly born baby the parents they do not give them every day a sentence that you have to use to, to a small baby of 2 years that uh, you ha- a mother is teaching to a 2 years baby that this is the subject this is the object and the verb and the sentence structure and passive voice and active voice nothing has been written and nothing has been taught it is in the spoken form that the child acquires the language so uh, from the beginning from the childhood the language that comes to us that is in the spoken form so we can say you can also so this covers this video covers two questions one is the primacy of the speech and second is speech versus writing that which form of language is superior to the other written language has its own features But when we say spoken is superior to written language it doesn't mean that written language is inferior it means that we are discussing that how the rules of a language are derived how this written form came to us it came to us through because first the people they started speaking language as a child start speaking speaking language a child doesn't write a language a child goes to the school after after uh, having uh, one class uh, kg prep and one class then the children they start reading and uh, uh, writing a language that how a language is written but before that they have already uh, they already uh, have learned how to speak a language and how to communicate so this is not actually a, a point to make one form of a language inferior and one for, form of a language superior but here we are discussing that what comes first so what comes first it is spoken form